What use is a super portable computer if it has to stay plugged into the electrical outlet at all times? Unfortunately, changing the battery in your laptop is never quite as easy as changing the batteries in your remote control, but that's why I'm here to help. Hi, I'm MJ with iFixit, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the battery in a late 2010 MacBook Air. It is nowhere near as difficult as you might imagine, and the process is extremely similar for the 2011 iteration of the same computer. Plus, the batteries are cross-compatible. Now, if you don't own a late 2010 MacBook Air, but you still want to replace your laptop's battery, we have recorded a lot of battery replacement videos. So check out our battery replacement playlist and see if we've already covered yours. This video is a great overview of the process, but of course, you're going to want to follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the repair guide on our site when you are doing your repair. We'll even link to it down in the description to make it easy peasy. That all being said, I'm going to get my parts and tools together so I can get started. For this repair, I'm going to need a plastic spudger, a T5 Torx driver, and a MacBook Air Penelope driver. Now, rather than using separate drivers, I'm just going to use our 54-piece bit driver kit because it has both the bits I'm going to need plus a ton more. I'm also going to use an anti-static wrist strap to protect my MacBook Air from any accidental electrostatic discharge during my repair and a screw tray because it keeps all those teeny tiny screws nice and organized. Now I've got all of my parts and tools together, I can get started by taking out the 10 penelope screws that are holding the bottom case in place. Now that I've got all of those screws out, I can begin to remove the lower case by grabbing it right between the display assembly and the lower case and rotating it towards the front of the computer. Now that the lower case is removed, the very first thing we're going to do is disconnect the battery. And really, that should be the first step in any electronics repair because we don't want any residual electricity floating around in there while we're doing our repair. To disconnect it, we're going to grab the little pull tab and pull it out parallel to the logic board. You don't want to pull up vertically because that'll break the connector. Now that the battery is disconnected, we can start to remove the screws that are holding it in place. And this is when your T5 bit will come in handy. Now that all those screws are out, the battery should lift out pretty easily. All I've got to do is install my new battery and reassemble my computer. Of course, you can find all of the parts and tools used for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And if you run into any problems during your repairs, there are lots of solutions in the MacBook Air Repair Guide on our site. If you want to stay up to date with all of the latest teardowns and repair videos, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter at ifixit, or like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching and happy repairing.